Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are doing really, really well. And I certainly appreciate you stopping by and hanging out for a bit. For this reading, we will take a look at the energies and messages for the day. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Four of Wands. So the Queen of Pentacles, we see the Queen here out in the beautiful greenery, holding her pentacle. We see beautiful roses, mountains, and sky. And this Queen is uh, loves beauty, loves comfort, and loves nature. And... Um, all of the deliciousness of nature, of what we have, of getting grounded with the earth, as she's the earth element here is so important. So when we think about the Queen of Pentacles, we're thinking about her attributes. We also may be considering that you might have someone who's a Queen of Pentacles type of person within your life. So this Queen is... Uh, very loving and nurturing and family oriented, someone who is interested in providing a happy home, lots of uh, good food and um, fun activities perhaps. This queen is very much uh, able to handle multiple tasks, work, family, children, volunteer commitments, things that, you know, make up make up a lifetime of all the obligations that we have to do. Well, this queen is very much focused on doing whatever she can to make things run smoothly, to uh, treat people with compassion and love, to keep her eye on those that she loves. And so we think of the words resourceful. We think of um, minding the surroundings and trying to keep things uh, together, maybe fresh, could be as something as small as, as trying to bring home maybe flowers in your home to, 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 to bring a little spark or a smile to a spouse or to a child to do something that is, um, an improvement or brings beauty and joy to the daily life. This queen is the epitome of, of, groundedness, common sense, chicken noodle soup for your soul and for the ones that are under the weather because she's aware and she's proactively paying attention. And that comes from a place of love. So whether you have someone who is so loving to you and um, a dependable, good, responsible friend who's also gives you good advice, or this is you and and you're the kind of uh, person with, for other people where you're really paying attention to how they're doing. You know, it's simply um, this queen is solid, likes nice things, likes comfort and beauty, good food, you know, lots of rest and perhaps pampering as well. So maybe Wednesday is a day for pampering or maybe going out to eat or doing something a little unusual to, to uh, bring some light into the home front. So with the Queen of Pentacles, here we have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups um, has the, the cups with roses here and the beautiful white horse. And often we might think of this knight on a quest for the Holy Grail. But this would be the holy grail of love or the holy grail of relationships, of connecting, of finding someone. So sometimes a knight can suggest a quest, it can suggest an opportunity or an offer. And so for some of you, if you are dating, if you are out and about trying to meet people and to um, build your social network or to just make more friends, this can be a focus on your relationships and the opportunities to bring people into your life, shared interests, um, attractions, 
whatever it may be, but it's the focus on relationships, caring, being considerate, thoughtfulness, uh, sensitivity to people's needs. For those that are in the dating game, perhaps it's a water sign that you're encountering. Perhaps you meet someone where you feel that spark. And uh, it could be the initial stages as you get to know someone. Someone who is perhaps in the arts or appreciates the arts. Someone who is um, maybe very reflective and responsive spiritually. And with that, they're able to connect and understand that I've got to really focus on relationships. Relationships are important. And the emotional depth and the emotional honesty of these relationships is important. So with this focus on relationships, it's nice to see the four of wands and the four of wands is a card of celebration. It's a card of really enjoying the reward, uh, something that we may look at as a community or as a society. We celebrate marriage. We celebrate engagements. We celebrate, um, baby announcements graduations. There's a whole host of things that we purposefully, um, plan to celebrate and bring in other people, family or friends, even strangers sometimes. And through this opportunity to recognize and to see someone and to wish them well, you know, friendships are born, relationships can be made as well. Connections are enhanced. We have lightness we have fun we have celebration milestones are there for a reason it's to bring people together and to uh, allow people to take part in someone else's success so in this illustration we see the couple here walking they're going to walk through this portal perhaps they're walking into a new life um, perhaps this is a movement here of some nurturing love and and being compassionate and caring. And here's the opportunity to meet someone who's also very committed and interested in relationships. And where does that lead you? Maybe that leads you to something more st stable or committed for yourself. Maybe it's simply the bringing together of people. And here's the wonderful opportunity to connect and to talk and to share and to see where those possibilities will go. So lovely cards for the day. Let's take a look at what we have uh, for numerology. We have one, two, and four, six. Six is about stability. It's about social consciousness. It's about compassion, finding peace. And then finally, I'm going to choose a card for an affirmation for the day. care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. And I have to say that that, you know, I would, I would associate someone like a queen of pentacles with those care and compassion qualities, which is to nurture and love the people that are important to you. And hopefully the universe gives it right back. You know, the, the equal, uh, equal energy, give love and get love back. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe. If you haven't already like this video, share this video, comment below, check out my weekly readings by Zodiac sign. I thank you for your time. Have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow.